Praise the Lord. Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Tonight, I'm here to tell you how precious you are. And I'm going to talk to you about the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And let's turn to 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 18 and 19. The Bible says here, knowing that you were not redeemed with perishable things like silver or gold from your futile way of life inherited from your forefathers but with the precious blood as of a lamb unblemished and spotless the blood of Jesus Christ the message version of the Bible says you were delivered or redeemed from an empty-headed life there's another version, NKJV, that says that you were redeemed from your aimless conduct which was received by tradition from your fathers. If you don't understand how precious the blood of Jesus is, you will live in an aimless conduct. If you don't understand how precious was that blood which was shed to make you and I sons and daughters, your life will be empty-headed and you will carry no purpose. But tonight I am here to tell you that you are precious and something very precious was shed to make you as a son and daughter of God. And I see in my spirit tonight as some of you are watching this show, some of you are living in depression, some of you are living in fear, some of you are on the verge of a divorce, some of you are on the verge of a financial breakdown. But I am here to tell you tonight, let the cross and the work on the cross speak louder than the situations of your life today. Amen. I want you to believe that the voice from the cross, the voice of that precious blood of the Lamb that was shed for you, let it be louder than the voice of your problems today. The greatest struggle that you and I face as Christians is to understand who we are in Christ. And tonight, if you understand that you are not another religious person, you're not following another religion, but you are a son and daughter of nobody else but the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, you will understand that you have the power to overcome what you are going through tonight. And here Paul writes that you are not bought by something which is perishable. You're not bought by gold or silver, but you are bought by the precious blood of Jesus. The Bible says that the Lord sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and He shed the most precious thing in Him, and that was His blood. I'm going to read that scripture to you one more time. 1 Peter chapter 1, 18 and 19. Knowing that you were not redeemed with perishable things like silver or gold from your futile way of life inherited from your forefathers, but with the precious blood as of a lamb unblemished and spotless, the blood of Jesus Christ so wherever you are tonight I want to encourage you that the most precious thing that heaven has was shed for you and I so that you will become a son and daughter of God let's turn to Romans chapter 8 verse 19 the Bible says here for the anxious longing of the creation waits eagerly for the revealing of the sons of God because of the blood of Jesus, you and I have become the sons of God. And the Bible says the entire creation anxiously longs to see who is a son of God, who is a daughter of God. Tonight, my beloved, if you can understand that because of that precious blood, you and I have become sons of God, daughters of God, you will manifest what it means to be a son and daughter of God. And I'm going to take you further to the book of Ephesians chapter 1 and we're going to study the power that we carry because of this precious blood that was shed for you and I so tonight I want you to turn with me to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 it says in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace which he has lavished on us amen the Bible says because of the blood he has lavished his grace on you that which you cannot do by your own strength because of the blood you can because through this blood grace was lavishly spent on you so tonight if you're going through a situation where you think you cannot do it by yourself 
I am here to encourage you that you have grace available in this hour in a very lavish way. Hallelujah. You know, when we humans try giving things, we give it in a certain measure. But the Bible says grace is lavished on you without any control, without any measure. It is given to you because of this precious, precious blood. And by this grace, tonight you can overcome every battle and every challenge that you're going through. Let me take you further in this chapter, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 11. It says, we have obtained an inheritance, having been predestined according to his purpose, who works all things after the counsel of his will. The Bible says, because of this blood, you have inheritance. And this is an inheritance that the world cannot give. And I'm here to encourage you tonight that if you can understand your inheritance in Christ, you will not be fearful when you face problems. You will not be fearful when you face challenges. Let's go further. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 18 to 22. It says, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened so that you will know what is the hope of his calling. What are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? Here Paul prays that, you know, he first talks about the blood. He tells the church that you've been redeemed by this precious blood. And then he goes further to make them understand and to pray that their eyes would be opened. The eyes of their heart would be enlightened so that they will know what is the hope in this calling. Brethren, I'm here to tell you tonight that because of this blood, there is a hope that you and I are carrying. So here Paul in, in verse 7 first talks about how we are redeemed by the blood and then he speaks to the church that he prays that their eyes would be enlightened so that they would know the hope of their calling. Brethren, if you can understand how precious this blood is, your eyes will be opened and you will have the hope that this world does not have. And yes, I believe this hope is for eternity. But also this hope is for all that you're going through on this earth. When Jesus taught us to pray, he said, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And tonight I believe and I want you to know that because of the blood of Jesus, you can have the will of God, the perfect will of God done for you on earth as it is in heaven. Let me take you further in this chapter. Paul says, and I pray that you will know what is the surpassing greatness of his power toward us who believe. These are in accordance with the working of the strength of his might. So his next prayer is that you and I will understand what is the greatness of his power towards us who believe. Wherever you are watching this show right now, I want you to open your mouth and confess it right now that the power that he has for us is great and that's what paul says i pray that you will understand the greatness of his power towards him who believes and verse 20 he says which he brought about in christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places so tonight I want you to know that through this blood you have access to the same resurrection power of Jesus. And Paul says that through this power he has been seated at the right hand of God. Verse 21 says, Far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age but also in the one to come and he put all things in subjection under his feet and gave him as head over all things and the church so tonight i want you to know that because of the blood of the lamb you have access to jesus who is the name above every name who is seated at the right hand of god and has everything under his subjection so what is it that you're going through tonight? If you can understand that because of this blood, you have access to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and the one who is the name above all names, 
who has everything under his subjection. Beloved, let me tell you, you are encountering your breakthrough very soon. A friend of mine recently told me that the moment there is a shift in your identity, there will be a shift in your behavior. When you understand that your identity is precious and that the precious blood of Jesus Christ was shed for you on the cross of Calvary, you will understand that you will not have to live in that same sickness that you're living today. Tonight, as you're watching this show, you might be living in sickness, you might be living in fear, you might be living in all sorts of bondages, but I want you to know that because of this blood, you can overcome. Revelations chapter 12 verse 11 and they overcame him because of the blood of the lamb and because of the word of their testimony and tonight I want you to know that because of the blood of Jesus you can overcome every power of darkness every demon of hell that is standing against your life because this blood was not shed for you in vain beloved if you're living in the bondage of religion this blood will go in vain. But if you understand that this precious blood was shed to make you a son and daughter, like the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 19, that the entire creation anxiously waits for the manifestation of sons and daughters. And you will understand you're a son and daughter when you understand how precious is that blood that was shed. If you've gone to the hospital for a treatment and when the nurse pricks you with the injection, you know how painful it is. There are some of us who scream when we get pricked by a small little injection. But Jesus was hurt even more than that so that he can bleed and he can die for you. Amen. The Bible says that life is in the blood. The most essential component that you carry is blood. The other day I was reading in the newspaper about a murder case and they wanted to find out the person through a DNA test and I have a friend of mine who's a doctor and I asked him so what is it that you will use what components do you use to ascertain a person's identity he said one of the things I will use is your blood I will do your blood test and you know many times we find people they say he has anger in his blood so blood is the very essence of your being, of your life. And that's what Jesus shed for you. Your blood, your being, which was impure. You who were made rejected because of your sin. It was washed away. It was cleansed because of that precious blood. There's another version in 1 Peter, where the reference that I took you to, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 18 and 19. There's another version of the Bible that says that he paid his blood as a ransom. So his blood was paid as the cost of your redemption. His blood was like the engagement ring which was put on your finger to sign and to mark that you belong to him. So beloved, what is it that you're waiting for today? What is it that you need tonight? You might be discouraged. You might be feeling low in your spirit. But I'm here tonight on this show to tell you that it's time for you to rise up, to speak this into your souls, to speak this into your minds, to make yourself understand that I am not what the world has branded me. Some of you who are watching this show, you are thinking, I'm good for nothing. People have said that I will not come up in life. I want you to go speak to those people. I want you to go speak to those situations that listen, listen, I am precious. I am more than what I think I am because the most precious thing that the Son of God carried was shed for you and I. And when you can understand that, there will be an entire shift in your identity. One of the greatest struggles that Christians go through today is their identity. And tonight, I want you to know that there was an identity transfer that was done in your life. I remember those days when I was struggling as a student in my studies. I failed in my 12th standard and people told me that you will not go beyond your 12th. My teachers told me, don't attempt it again, you will not clear this. 
until I understood my identity until I understood that Jesus shed his precious blood to make me a son to make you a daughter and when I understood that precious blood which was shed to make me his things started changing in my life recently I was given the award of one of the top researchers in cancer and I was the same person who failed in my studies 10 years back and this was possible only because I understood who I am in Christ so beloved whatever is that situation tonight you're going through I'm here on this show to encourage you that the Bible says they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb what is it that you're going through this blood has given you access to the throne this blood has given you access to everything that you need the Bible says his divine power has granted unto us everything pertaining to life and godliness through the true knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and excellence hallelujah so tonight what is it that you need for your life what is it that you need for godliness because of that blood which was shed on the cross of Calvary you have access to that throne of grace so tonight wherever you're watching this show you might be watching it on internet you might be watching it on TV I want you to join with me as I pray for you tonight and more than anything I want you to make yourself understand the truth of the Word of God which says that you were not saved you were not redeemed by something perishable you can go to the market and hire a servant by giving money which is perishable but that is temporary but the precious blood of Jesus was given so that you will become forever God's property hallelujah so wherever you are tonight I pray and I cast out every discouragement that is troubling you that is tormenting you and I speak into your spirit I speak into your life into your mind that you are precious because the precious blood of Jesus Christ was shed on the cross of Calvary for your sin so that you will become a son and daughter of God so wherever you are rise up in prayer speak to yourself that I belong to Jesus and I'm precious because something precious was shed for me on the cross and as you do that the revelation of who you are in Christ will help you overcome every situation that you are going through some of you watching the show I believe and I see in my spirit are, are, are contemplating suicide some of you are thinking of going away from God you think that you know I don't want to do anything with God I'm done with this guy but let me tell you you're doing this because you have understood him as religion but he's not religion he's a father and you will understand his fatherhood when you understand how powerful is the blood of Jesus Christ so no matter what the sin is that is separating you from God tonight you might be a Christian you might not be a Christian but this precious blood can cleanse you and take that separation away and bring you to the feet of Jesus to his presence and make you one with him so tonight as we end this show wherever you are I'm gonna make this prayer for you and I want you to join with me in this prayer wherever you are pray this with me dear Lord Jesus I thank you for that precious blood which was shed for me on the cross of Calvary and I thank you for through this precious blood I was made your son and daughter and tonight the revelation of who I am through this blood will change my situation will turn things around father tonight I pray for every viewer and I pray that they will understand that they are precious because the blood of the lamb was shed for them so that they will walk and manifest as sons and daughters of God tonight father we pray that you will give us the grace to overcome every situation by the power of this blood we thank you father for what your word says in the book of Ephesians that through this blood we have a hope that the world does not have we have an inheritance that the world does not have and we thank you for this blood has released in us the resurrection power of Jesus we pray father for healing to break forth we pray father for deliverance to break forth 
in our viewers as they watch this. Let your blood redeem them. Let your blood deliver them. We bless them in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. And may you understand and live in the revelation of how precious is this blood and how powerful it could be and how it can change your identity. God bless you.